ओम वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्य कोटिश परब्रम निर्विघ्न पुर मे देव सर्वेशु सर्वदा सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं परिणी विद्यारंभम क्या सिद्ध मे सदा गुरव सर्वोका दक्षिणामूर्त नम ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योभव्यादेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम सदाशिवसंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा शंकर शंकराचार्य केशवं बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः श्रुतिस्मृतिपुरा आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत् पाद शंकर लोकशंकर साक्षात् दयानंद परिणाम तत्वान प्रशास्ता प्रणतस्म पर सहना सहनौन सह वीय करवाहे तेजस्वीधावधेतमस्तमाषावे ओ शाशा अखंड सच्चिदानंद अवां मनस गोचर आत्माखिलाधार आश्रिए भीष्ट सिद्ध अर्थतोप्यनंदनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीतनतीत
ಸಮಾನಾಧಿಕರಣೆ ಸಂಬಂಧ ವಿಶೇಷ ವಿಶೇಷ ಭಾವ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಭಾವ ಸಂಬಂಧ ವಿಶೇಷ ವಿಶೇಷ ಭಾವ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ taken when we consider for the tattvasi mahavakya for the reasons already seen for the for the <coughs> for it gives a uh, yeah illogical or irrational uh, irrational sense the application of visheshna vishesha bhava to ಸಂಸರ್ಗಿಷ್ಟಾರ್ಥಬೋಧಕ್ಯಾರ್ಥ So, samsargartha uh, or vishishtartha could be the vakyartha, but that cannot, that cannot be taken for the, the vakya, the tomasi. So, it is as the drishtanta nila mutpalam, the drishtanta as can be it can be expressed in sargartha bodaka or vishishtartha bodaka that way tattvamasi cannot be explained so na sammataha it doesn't fit that so the because akanda ekarasatvena akanda ekarasatvena akanda ekarasam there is complete non division total non division between that between itattu anto tattu referring to paramatma to referring to jeevatma akandai karas akandai karas the means the advaita chaitanya akanda akandai karas the <clears throat> kandikarasam referring to advitiyam brahma sadeva somidam magre asit ekameva advitiyam ekameva advitiyam brahma the panchadashi this is also from panchadashi on the court the panchadashi second chapter mahabhu panch mahabhu to vivek prakaranam in the <clears throat> the prakaranam ekameva advitiyam ekameva advitiyam was explained and uh, shivam pujita shikara said tattva viveka prakaram also maya vidye vihaye ivam upadhi parajiva yuvaho akandam sachidanandam param brahma iva lakshyate the tattva viveka prakaram is on 48 uh, shloka maya vidye is maya and avidya vihaya upadi upadi of para jeeva yoga paramatma and jeevatma maya vidye vihaya eva upadi para jeeva yoga then what is lakshyate akandam sachidanandam param brahma eva lakshyate iti so the akanda the word sad vastunaha bedatrayam nivartate the three types of beda ಅಖಂಡೈಕರಸಂ ನಿವರ್ತತೆ ನಿವಾರ್ಯತೆ ವೇದತ್ರಯ ನಿವಾರ್ಯತೆ ತ್ರೀ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಜನರಲಿ ದೇರ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ 
between two things. Between things. Between things. Three types of differences. They are not there. When the three types of differences are not there for a vastu, then the vastu is called akhanda etarasa. When three types of differences are not there for a thing, then the thing is akhanda etarasa. The only one thing which is doesn't have the three differences is Brahma. Paramatma alone doesn't have these three types of Veda. Sajatiya Veda, Vijatiya Veda and Sukata Veda. These three types of Veda, <coughs> again we saw in the Panchamaka Bhutta Viveka Prakarna. Padidushikara beautifully explained with the Drishtanta. Vrikshasya Sukato Vedaha Patra Pushpa Pala Divihi Vrikshantara Sajatiyaha Vijatiyaha Shira Ditaha Simple. The Vriksha a tree has its own uh, differences. It has its differences. It, has, it is made of parts, so each part is different from the other. Other part. Other, each part is different from the other one. Ita patra pushpa pala Leaves, and trees, fruits, trunk, roots, etc. Each part is different from the other one. That was Svagata Vedaha. Vrikshasya. Ita Vrikshasya Svagata Vedaha. And there are other Vriksha. And there are this Vriksha, this Vriksha is there. And there are other Vriksha of the same category, same species. As a mango tree has its internal differences. So there is there is another mango tree. There are other mango trees. There are many. Not only mango tree, there are other species also. Other species. And there are Veda. There are things which are other than trees also. Like rocks, stones, etc. Everything else is different from the uh, the tree. So Vijatiya Vedaha. So Vedatrayam. When the Vedatrayam is not there, then the Vastu is called Akanda Ekarasa. That is the meaning of Akanda Ekarasa. Kandahana Vidyate. The divisions are not there. And it is Ekarasa. So referring to Akanda Advaitam. Ekameva Advitiyam Brahma iti. The three types of differences are not there for Brahma. So Akandai Karsa Trena, that is the Vakyartha, that is the meaning of the Mahavakya. It is Vidusham Mataha. So therefore, <clears throat> it cannot be Samsargartha. Mahavakya cannot be Samsargartha Bodhaka Vakya or Vakya or Vishishtartha Bodhaka Vakya. It has to be. Kandaika Rasatvena Vakyartaha Astiti Vidusham Mataha Vidusham Vidusham means Jnani Nam Mataha as it is understood by the Jnanis. The three types of differences not death. The three types of differences alone are going for Dvaita Dvaita perception. And these differences are not there. Only Paramatma alone doesn't have these differences because everything is He alone. So therefore, Vakyartaha Kandakara Satvena Aha Vakyartaha Tivdisham Mataha. So therefore, Lakshya Lakshana Bhava Sambandaha Ishyate. So therefore, we need to have Lakshya, Lakshana. Lakshana means implication. Lakshana Vritti, the method of implication. So the implication must be connected to the, the Vakyata, the Vakyata, Vakyata, primary meaning. So therefore, Lakshya, Lakshana, Bhava, Sammandha, Hasti, Padayoga, Madhye, Padartha Yogo, 
therefore it is not visheshan vishesha bhavaha it is takshya lakshana bhavaha so that's what the author says bhaga lakshana iti bhaga lakshana or bhagatya lakshana all these are different uh, names so the fourth the only lakshana by which the vakya can be mahavakya can be, can be interpreted is bhagatya lakshana vritti by that only the advitya brahma can be can be communicated so the it's on the last class the word and its meaning the word has its meaning padam and padasya artha pada padartha padartha referring to the object what the padam padam the word refers to so the sambandha between the two is called vritti the sambandha between padam and padartha the entire world is nothing but <clears throat> a word and its meaning padam padartha so the that's called vritti the sambandha between the, the two is called vritti and the we have the word vritti has got many meaning vritti could be a interpretation vritti could be a function a, a work a profession vritti or vritti could be interpretation and this relationship between the word and meaning is also also called vritti so depending on the context we have to take the meaning of the word vritti so this vritti <coughs> here in this context it, it refers to the relationship between the words relationship between between the pada and the padartha and the, the word and meaning and the, the the direct meaning say the word which reveals the meaning directly when the word reveals the meaning directly then the vritti is called mukhya vritti primary meaning or abhita vritti the word reveals the, the meaning directly and the rule is we have to take the mukhya artha only first we have to take mukhya artha only when the mukhya artha doesn't fit then only we can take the lakshana vritti so this is an uh, this is a rule we cannot take always uh, implied meaning direct meaning alone should be taken to begin with if doesn't fit then only we have to take uh, the lakshyaartha that is lakshana vritti mukhya mukhya vritti is vakyaartha the meaning of the meaning vakya the meaning of the words and therefore the meaning of the vakya as it is mukhya vritti when the direct relationship is not possible that in that context it doesn't apply then only we need to take the lakshana vritti the secondary meaning the primary meaning secondary meaning primary meaning is vakshyartha secondary meaning by the lakshana artha it is lakshyartha the direct relationship is mukhya vritti the indirect relationship is lakshana vritti vachyartha is the primary meaning we get by mukhya vritti and lakshyartha is what we get by lakshana vritti so mukhya vritti followed by lakshana vritti so mukhya vritti reveals vachyartha lakshana vritti reveals lakshyartha first we take vachyartha vachyartha doesn't fit the mahavakya therefore lakshana vritti we have to take so that is what is discussed here you cannot take the you cannot take vachyartha because of the defects already shown literal meaning primary meaning cannot be taken if you take primary meaning there are dosha the defects which are already shown samsargartha vishishtartha so we have to take the implied meaning and there are three means of communicating to implied meaning and uh, in the 
first one the the direct meaning is completely discarded that's called uh, that is one type of that's one type of uh, one type of implied meaning second uh, type is where the direct meaning is not given up but something is added the third type is in which the one part of the direct meaning is completely given up and the other part is retained so these are the three ways of communicating through the lakshana vritti that is implied meaning akshartha so that is called uh, jagati lakshana vritti ajagati lakshana vritti bhagatyaha lakshana vritti otherwise jagati ajagat ajagati lakshana vritti so three types of lakshana vritti lakshana vritti reveals lakshyartha and there are three types jagati lakshana in which the primary meaning that is the direct meaning is given up ajagati lakshana in which the direct meaning is not given up but something is added to it and the third type is where the direct meaning one part a part of the direct meaning is given up and something and another part is retained it's called jagati ajagati lakshana vritti otherwise called bhagatyaha lakshana the three types of lakshana vritti so therefore here bashik uh, the author he takes up the vritti each vritti and he shows how this vritti the first two vrittis cannot be applied applying that we have illogical conclusion so that if that the author shows through the drishtanta vitireka udaharanam the drishtanta is it is not anvaya udaharanam it is vitireka udaharanam the drishtanta explains the particular lakshana vritti that will not fit in that will not fit in the mahavakya when we interpret mahavakya that's what the author shows here so the for your lakshana the three types of lakshana vritti the jagati jagati that word is derived from oha tyage oha tyage jagati lakshana jagati is chatranta srilinga that lakshana vritti is srilinga so jagati lakshana vritti jagati is one word lakshana vritti is another word so jagati lakshana vritti then na jagati jagati so because chatranta the first stringing of pratyaya geet is added you know the chatram convert the chatranta rupam into stringing from we need to add geetascha by that sutra geet pratyaya therefore we have like uh, patanti gachanti etc samagari jagati and jagati and this uh, belong to third group therefore no no mark about that jagati iti jagati shilinga pratama vyakti ek vachana di shabda vat na jagati ajagati shilinga why because lakshana vritti is shilinga so when you do the compound then jagat plus lakshana will be will, will join become one word jagat plus lakshana then samase samhita nitya bhavati then takara and nakara totally will apply the first jagal lakshana you get sandhi when you do because sandhi is nitya and samasa so jagal lakshana a jagal lakshana jagat the jagal lakshana prtihi iti very it is vyastapada jagati lakshana vritti samastapada jagal lakshana vritti now the, the next uh, line the author explains jagal lakshana vritti jagati lakshana vritti and he explains and he says that doesn't fit in this case that is our mahavakya the case of mahavakya doesn't fit 
Let's read the next line. One fifty-nine. Atra. Atra. Gangayam Ghoshaha. Gangayam Ghoshaha. Pratibhasati. Pratibhasati. Iti vakya vat. Iti vakya vat. Jagal lakshana api na sangachate. जहाँ लक्षण अपने न संगत छते तो जगल लक्षण न संगत छते अत्र अत्र रेफरिंग तू दी महावाक्य अत्र महावा महावाक्य जगल लक्षण अपि न संगत छते Lakshana Vritti, as we said, it is it is not direct relationship, which is Lakshyarata, it is implied meaning. So it means it shows the samanda between the words through its parampara. Parampara samandaha. Natu direct it is. So that the Lakshana Vritti, the first one, Jagati Lakshana, that the authors explains what Jagati Lakshana with the Dashtanta and he says that he doesn't fit here. So Atra, Atra that we will part that part we will see later. What is Jagal Lakshana or Jagati Lakshana, Jagal Lakshana with Sandhi, Jagal Lakshana Vritti? Where the Vachyartha is, that is primary meaning, Kyartha Vidavirti is completely abandoned, given up. It's completely given up. So dropping the Vachyartha completely, it's called Jagal Lakshana. So Vachyartha, Vachyartha Tyagaha, Jagal Lakshana Rutihi. Sampurnataya Vachyartha Tyagaha, it's called Jagal Lakshana. So in here at Vingayam Goshaha, Vingayam Goshaha Prativasati. Goshaha means a hamlet, a small a village. It's a village. It is Gangayam Goshaha. Gangayam is <coughs> Sattami, locus, location, Adikarana Karaka. So Gangayam, Gangayati. Iti Nadi, Goshaha, the village, is located on, is located uh, in Ganga, it's, located, it's situated in Ganga. This is the Vachyartha, Abhida, we are playing Abhida Vrithi, Mukhyartha, first we take Mukhyartha, this is the meaning. Suppose a person comes and asks, where is the house of so-and-so person? We say it is... It is uh, on the Ganges. It is on the Ganga. When we, when, when we hear this answer, it doesn't uh, really surprise us. We know it is on the Ganges means it is not really on the Ganges. It is on the bank of the Ganges. So therefore the word Ganga, the meaning is completely given up and it is replaced by Tira. Ganga Yam, Tira Ganga Tire, on the banks of the river. So the Vachyartha is completely given up. Vachyartha is completely given up and and the Ganga is given up and Ganga Tire, we say. So direct meaning is completely discarded and indirect meaning is taken. For the sake of, in favor of indirect meaning, the direct meaning is given up, completely given up. So, therefore, Gangayam Gosha Prativasati, we understand it for the logical reason that Ganga cannot be, that the village cannot be located on the river, it should be on the Tira, Gangayam Tire. So, we understand, we don't uh, take the literal meaning of this sentence. Not only here, in many places, in our daily life, we use New Delhi is arriving on the platform number four. 
means how can uh, Delhi will arrive? Which is the New Delhi referring to the train? The New Delhi has completed drop. Delhi is a city, it's a capital. How that will arrive? It is meaningless. So we apply our buddhi and and we know it is a train. So it arrives on platform number so and so. So therefore, the meaning, the primary meaning is completely given up in favor of the indirect meaning. That is Jagal Lakshana. So Jagati Lakshana Vritti. So in Eta Gangayam Goshaha Pratyavasati Jagal Vritti. So Dashtanta Jagal Lakshana Vritti is explained. The author explained. Atra explained to Asmi Mahavakya Na Sangachate. This doesn't fit in the Mahavakya. So in understanding the meaning of Tattvamasi, we cannot apply Jagal Lakshana. Why? Why can't we apply Jagal Lakshana? Because of the reason that is said in the, the line 160, 160. Let us read. Tatratu. Tatratu. Ganga Ghoshayo Ho. Ganga Ghoshayo Ho. Adhara Adheya Bhava Lakshanasya. Adhara Adheya Bhava Lakshanasya. Vakyarthasya. Vakyarthasya. Asheshataha. Asheshataha. Viruddhatvat. Viruddhatvat. Vakyartham Vakyartham Asheshataha Parityajya Asheshataha Parityajya Tat Sammandhi Tat Sammandhi Tira Lakshanayaha Tira Lakshanayaha Yuktatvat Yuktatvat Jagal Lakshana Sangachate Jagal Lakshana Sangachate Atra na Sangachate Asmin Havaki na Sangachate Tatra In that Drishtanta it is fine because the Drishtanta is Vitirika Drishtanta. The Drishtanta it is Sangachate Tatu Atra. So that's it says here. So Tatra Ganga Gosha Yoho Ganga Gosha Yoho between the Ganga and the Gosha Ganga Gosha Ganga Gosha Yoho Adara Ade Yabhava Lakshanas between the Ganga, the river, and the Gosha, the village, there is a Adara Adheya Samandaha. The Adara Adheya Samanda we have seen in case of Vibhakti. See, there is Saptami, the Saptami Vibhakti. If you take, there are many varieties of Saptami. Nimitta Saptami, Parasaptami, Adikarana Saptami, Sati Saptami, and uh, this Adara De Saptami. There also we have Upashklesha, etc. This stock example what we give. Kunde Badara Viva, you remember we have seen the Karaka. The topic is not complete. Kunde Badara Viva. Badara, the Badara fruit, it is in the Kunda, it is in the, the vessel. So Badara, the fruit in the, the vessel Kunda. So Kunda is the container and the contained is the Badara, Badarani, Palani. So Badarani fruits are, are in the, the vessel. So vessel is the Adara, the support, the Kunda, the vessel, the jar. And the supported is the Badarani. So there is a supporter, sub, supporter, supporter relationship between the two, Kunda and Badara. 
Badranis are supported by the Kunda, which is a sub, which is a support, supporter. So Adara Adaya Bhava Lakshanasya. The relationship between Ganga Gosha Yoko. Ganga is located, uh, sorry, the Gosha is located in Ganga. And we say that the two words have Adara Adaya Bhava Lakshanasya. Adara Adaya Bhava Lakshanasya. Relationship which is in the form of supported, supported, if you take. Then it is Vakyartasya. Vakyartasya Gangayam Goshaha. Iti Vakyasya Artasya Adarade Bhava Lakshanasya. Asheshataha Virudhatvat. It is completely contradictory. Is completely contradictory because Ganga cannot be the Adara the supporter for the Adeya Goshaha because Ganga is the river, it's a flowing one. What it can support? It can support only fishes, so it cannot support the Gosha, the village. Therefore, there cannot be Adara Ade Sambandha between Ganga and the Gosha. But uh, the statement is Gangayam Goshaha. So Vakyartasya Asheshataha Virudhatva. Completely, complete contradiction. Complete contradiction between these two words. Where the words have the Samanda, Adara Ade Samanda. We take Ad. Therefore, Adara Ade Bhava Lakshanasya Vakyartasya Asheshataha Virudhatva. Therefore, what we do completely it is contradictory. If you take the Mukhyartha, if you take the Mukhyartha, Vachyartha, completely contradictory. Therefore, Mukhyartha, the primary meaning, should be abandoned. The primary meaning cannot be taken because it primary meaning fails to give you the understanding of the sentence. Therefore, you have to take the secondary meaning, implied meaning. Lakshyartha only you have to take. So, Vachyartha is here. Vakyartasya Shesha Vrudhatvat. Therefore, Tata Tektavyam. Tata Vakyartaha Tektavyaha. Completely. And Vakyartha is, uh, it is Viruddha, it is logically also, it is our Anubhava, in keeping with our Anubhava. In this case, it is logical, it is uh, impossible. So, therefore, so it should, first it should be logical and it should. Also, not contradict your experience. So, we apply our rational buddhi, and therefore, we understand it is completely contradictory. Therefore, what we do? Vakyartasya asheshita virudhatvat, vakyartam asheshataha parikhejya. Because vakyartha is completely contradictory, therefore, vakyartha is completely given up. Vakyartha which is Adar Adeya Bhava Lakshanasya. It has the, the sentence that words are the, the Samanda of support and supported, and that is the Vakyartha. Supported, supported's meaning is conveyed by the words of the sentence Gangayam Goshaha. Since it is Virudhatvat completely Asheshataha. Therefore, Vakyartam is Asheshataha Parityajya. Having given up the Vakyartha completely, then what we do? Then Tat Sambandhi. Tat Sambandhi Tira Lakshana Yaha Yuttatvat. Yuttatvat by implication. Tat Sambandhi Tira Lakshana Yaha. Tat Sambandhi Tira Lakshana Yaha. Tat Sambandhi. That related to that, Tira Lakshana Yaha on the banks of the river, on the banks of the river, that should be Tattvat, that is tenable, that is proper, therefore Tattvat by implication, therefore we have to take Tira Lakshana, Ganga Tira, Ganga is replaced by Tira, Tira Lakshana Yaha Tattvat. 
Tira Lakshana is tenable. Tira Lakshana is what is to be taken. Therefore, primary meaning is given up in that place. Tira Lakshana, Tira. Ganga is the, the word is the Lakshana for Tira. Not the literal meaning Ganga. So, Ganga is, the word is used, it is Tira Lakshana. That Sambandhi means Ganga, that, that, that word Sambandhi, Ganga Sambandhi, Ganga Pada Sambandhi. Ganga, the word, reveals to the river. So, therefore, that Sambandhi, what the word reveals, that Sambandhi, Tira Lakshana, Tira Lakshana Ya, Tira Lakshana Ya Ha, Ganga Ya Ha. So, therefore, Ganga Yaha is replaced by Tira. Ganga Tirasya. The Lakshyartha is implied meaning is Yutkatpad. It is tenable and therefore it is taken. Jagal Lakshana Sangachate. The Lakhar Lakshana is Sangachate. It is, it fits in very well. So Ganga Yam Gosha therefore will be Ganga Tire Iti. Ganga Ganga Yam Gosha. Gangayam Goshara will be now Ganga Tire Goshaha iti. The Lakshyartha is tenable. Sangachate. Tatra referring to in the Drashtanta. In the Drashtante, Drashtante, Jagal Lakshana Sangachate. Jagati Lakshana Vrtihi Sangachate. Katam Sangachate, Vakyartha Syak, Asheshata Hirudatvat. Vakyartam Asheshataha Parityajya Ganga Sabandhi Tira Lakshana Yaha Yuktatvat Ganga Iti Asmin 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 Vakya Ganga Iti Padamasti Tat Sabandhi What the Tat Padartha Tat Padartha What the first two That Ganga is not really Ganga It is Ganga Tira That should be taken Implied meaning should be taken. Primary meaning doesn't fit it because primary gives complete contradiction. Therefore, giving up primary meaning completely. So, therefore, tat sambandhi lakshana tira lakshana yaha yuktatva. Tira lakshana yaha yuktatva, therefore, jagad lakshana sangachate. So, dhishtanta it is fine. Dhishtanta it is jagad lakshana only. So, therefore, the example Gangayam Goshaha, that is the illustration example for Jagal Lakshana. Similarly, <clears throat> the, and the, yeah, the, the author has given the contra contradiction by giving the, the Adhara Adhya Bhava Samband. Adhara is the support, Adhya is the support. This relationship doesn't apply to Ganga and the Gosha. Therefore, that's a contradiction. So the author has given the reason why it is contradiction. Why there is the contradiction. Utpitikaya Mupari, Pustakamasti. Suppose we say Utpitikaya Mupari, Pustakamasti, Utpitika table. Pustakam is, is there on the table. There it is clear, Adar Adi Samanda. That we cannot bring in. Uh, there we cannot uh, apply in Jagal Lakshana because between the Utpitika and the table, there is clear Adhara Adhe Samadha. Utpitika is the Adhara and book is the Adheya. So that relationship is there, there is no contradiction. Utpitika Yamupai, Pustaka Masti, there we cannot apply Jagal Lakshana because there is no Vakyartha Viruddha. Therefore, there is no giving up of any words and you replay and uh, you. Give some other meaning to the word. It is fine. But in this example, the shtanta, it is contradiction. Only when there, there is contradiction, there we cannot have take the primary meaning. There is no contradiction. Therefore, we have to take the primary meaning only. What lakshyata is there? There is no lakshyata. So it is simple. Vachyartha. So yatra vachyartha na sangachit yatra lakshyartha. Yatra lakshyartha na netavya. It is Anitabhyaha. So for the example, it is fine. Now, this, this uh, Jagal Lakshana doesn't fit in this Mahavakya. 
the illustration is fine mahabharata doesn't fit now here he shows why it does not why it is not applicable in the case of tatvamasi mahabharata let's read atra tu atra tu parokshya aparokshya chaitanya ekatva lakshanasya भागमात्रेरोज्य अन्य अंडरस्टैंडिंग द मीनिंग ऑफ द लाइन्स इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू एक्सप्लेन इन इंग्लिश बिकॉज द मीनिंग इट्स इज वेरी क्लियर The previous sentence, if you take, atyartasya virudhatmasti, ashesha tahvirudhatva tat parichedya. That what vakyata sambandhi. Here in the example, vakyata sambandhi is the Ganga sambandhi. Tira lakshana yaha yuktatva. Tira lakshana yaha yuktatva. That what that lakshana sangrachate. So it's very easy. So. What translation? What? Nothing to. We don't have to use any other English word to explain this. Tira lakshana yaha yuktatva tat samandhi. In case samandhi, tira lakshana yaha yuktatva. Therefore, there is lakshana sangrachate. After understanding the meaning, now here one sixty one. Atra atra referring to tatra drastante, atra drastante, drastante is Mahabharata. महावाक्ये महावाक्य तत्मसी जीवात्व परमात्मा ऐक्यम इज व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू से बट लेट अस अप्लाई जगल लक्षण ऐक्यम इज अंडरस्टूड बट अप्लाई जगल लक्षण व्हाट विल बी द प्रॉब्लम व्हाई इट इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल दैट द ऑथर शोस सो जीवात्मा चैतन्य परमात्मा नाउ So both are Chaitanya. Already we have seen only the Upadhi Veda Sardar, Vishti Upadhi Sagita Chaitanya Jivatma, Samasti Upadhi Sagita Chaitanya. Sorry, Vishti Upadhi Jaya Sagita Chaitanya Jivatma, Samasti Upadhi Jaitam Ishvara. So there is Jiveshvara, Paramatma is Ishvara, Jiveshvara Ikkam minus Upadhi. So Upadhi Dikhaya Maya Vidya. उपाधि जीव परजीव अखंडकसम लक्ष्य अखंडकसम्लीट नॉन् ड्यूअल टोटल नॉन् डिविशन बिटवी जीवात्म परमात्मा इन टर्म्स ऑफ चैतन्य इन टर्म्स ऑफ उपाधि देर आर लॉट ऑफ डिफरस In terms of upadhi, in terms of when you say upadhi, upadhi means attribute. Therefore, sarvajyatam, sarvashakti matam, etc. For Vishvara and al alpajyatam, alpashakti matam for Jiva. So there are contradictory features when we take the upadhi. But when we take the chaitanya, when the chaitanya drishtiya, essential nature, it is same. चैतन्य दृष्टा अभेद उपाधि दृष्टिया भेद नॉट लाइक गंगा घोषर इन दाक्य दर इज कंप्लीट एडमिक्सर ऑफ बोथ विरुद्धार्थ एस वेल एस अविरुद्ध बोथ आर दोथ फीचर्स आर मिक्सड अप फोर If you take Jagat Lakshana, where Vakyaarta is completely given up, Jagati Lakshana, if you apply Jagat Lakshana Vritti, Vakyaarta is completely given up. 
not only vakyartha meaning the the upadi the upadi veda is given up chaitanya abeda also is given up because chaitanya drishtya abeda jiveshwara yoga there is no veda from the perspective of chaitanya and there is complete difference from the perspective of upadi therefore when you give up the vachyartha completely then both the both are given up both are given up that is the abeda also part also given up upadi drishtya veda asti that also is given up upadi of course differences are that that is given up and chaitanya drishtya upadi drishtya veda that is given up chaitanya drishtya veda that also given up both are given up this is like uh, throwing the, the baby with the bath water both are given up it's a problem both are given up then what meaning will take therefore jagal lakshana na samgachate that is what the author says here atra tu ye paroksha paroksha chaitanya ekatva lakshanasya that is ekatvam that is aikyam between the two what are these two paroksha aparoksha chaitanya paroksha chaitanya means paramatma aparoksha chaitanya means jiva why it is paroksha aparoksha ishvara is paroksha because if it is aparoksha then it already gnanam is there it is therefore aikyam gnanam is there paroksha aparoksha that aikyam is what is we will divide the mahavakya therefore tat because the word tat itself is tat iti parokshe vijaniya something which is remote far there is a sense of separation when the sense of separation is real it is really re- far away remote so that is what the word tat referring to refer paroksha paroksha chaitanyam paramatma ishvara iti remote remoteness aparoksha is my its immediate immediate means that which is available closely prox very proximate so the paroksha chaitanyam aparoksha chaitanyam and ekatva lakshanasya mahavakyasya vakyarthasya what happens bhaga matre virodha it has contradiction only in its part bhagantare virodha asti eva what is the bhagantara virodha upadi virodha upadi is are completely different one is avidya upadi who is avidya upadi jiva Jivatma as Jiva as Avidya Upadhi and Ishvara as Maya Upadhi. So, from the Upadhi Drishti, that is Virodha. Virodha has to be a complete Virodha. Bhaga Matre Virodha has to be. Bhaga Matre Virodha has to be. And by Jagal Lakshana, we have to give up the Vachyartha completely. Only a part has contradiction in the Vakha Vakya. and jagal lakshavarti says completely give up the vachyata okay the part is part as contradiction what about the other part bhagantaram api bhagantare there is no virodha what is bhagantare the other part chaitanya drishtya there is no bheda abeda haiva because ekatva lakshanasya by jagal lakshavarti what happens bhagantaram yadapi bhagantare virodha nasti tadapi parityajya because by lakshana vritti you have to give a, give up the entire meaning therefore anya lakshana yaha anya lakshana referring to bhagantara avirodha lakshana yaha api parityajya that is not tenable it is ayuktatvat when there is common thing non contradictory non contradictory things the features are there between the two that also should be given up why should be given up that, that is what the meaning that is what the vakya conveys that is what the meaning of the sentence maha vakya so bhagantare avirodha asti kintu tadapi tadapi tetva parityajya tadapi tejanam is ayuktaha ayuktatvat and that also should be given up according to jagal lakshana vritti 
If that is given up, then Jagad Lakshanavarti doesn't fit here. So Bhagantare, that is Abhiruddha Bhage, this Tajanam is Ayuktaha, therefore Anya Lakshana Yaha, the other Lakshana, where there are no contradictions, that also given up is not proper, therefore Jagad Lakshana Nasangachate. We cannot apply Jagad Lakshanavarti here. Jagad Lakshanavarti is where the primary meaning is given up completely. And another meaning is substituted in this place. So, if you apply the Jagal Lakshana, Tatratomasi, Nahavakya, the primary meaning, primary meaning is, is given up. Tat has to give, an, give up its primary meaning. Tat has to give, an, give, an, give, up, give up its primary meaning means the Chaitanyam is given up. The idea of Chaitanyam is given up. So, <clears throat> because Primary meaning that referring to Ishvara. So Ishvara who is Sarva Shaktiman, Sarva Gyaha is given up. So along with that Chaitanya is also given up. Okay. Similarly, Tum Pada, where primary meaning is given up. So Tum Pada, the primary meaning given up, that is the Tum referring to Jivatma, therefore with the given up means it is Alpagyatum, Alpa Shaktimatum, that is given up. Along with that, the common thing which is Chaitanya is there, that is also given up. Both are given up. So the idea of consciousness, Chaitanyam, which is there in both, is completely given up. So therefore, if you given up completely, then what is the analysis here? What is the vichara here? Vichara is, we do vichara to establish the oneness between the Tattu and Tampada. Therefore, this Lakshana Vritti, Cannot be applied. Na sangachate atra. Atra mahavakya na sangachate. So even though the Bhagatyaga Lakshana, the first Lakshana is Jagal Lakshana, in fact, we have to apply Bhagatyaga Lakshana, but the first Lakshana Vritti, first type of Lakshana Vritti, Jagal Lakshana Vritti doesn't fit here. Therefore, we cannot apply na sangachate. Then what is the next Lakshana Vritti? Ajagal Lakshana Vritti. And what does it do, Ajagal Lakshana Vritti? Where? We don't give up the Vachyata completely because it is Ajagati. Ajagati means not dropping. There is no Tyaka of the primary meaning. So we retain. There is no giving up of the direct meaning. We retain. We retain the direct meaning. Direct meaning is not discarded. So what will be the implication of that if we take so, Ajagat, Ajagat means not giving up. So, Ajagat Lakshana. Can we apply Ajagat Lakshana? That is the next topic. We will see in the next class. Om Pur Namadas Pur Namitam Pur Natur Namadachate Pur Nasya Pur Namadhaya Pur Naneva Vashishyate Om Shantishantishantihi Harihi Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Harihi Om Danyavadha 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 Yes uh, I don't know, I have taken the notes not properly I think that only Vakyartha is taken means that is called as what Lakshana Vakyartha <coughs> Vakyata meaning primary meaning. Vakyata, hmm. Vachyata. Abhida yeah. Vritti. It's technically Abhida. called, or we can say Mukya Vritti. Abhida Vritti is a technical name. Mukya Vritti. Mukya Vritti you can do. Vritti is feeling that for Mukya. Mukya Vritti. Or Mukya Vritti. Okay. okay. Lakshana Vritti implied meaning. Ah. So Mukya Vritti. Primary meaning, Lakshana Vritti implied meaning. And Mukya Vritti is left and uh, Lakshana Vritti is taken means that is called Jagal Lakshana. Yes, sense. Mukya Vritti is given up, Lakshana Vritti is taken, Jagal Lakshana. Yes. Okay, Ajagal is? Where the Mukya Vritti is not given up. Okay. We'll see the Drishtanta. Okay. Mukya Vritti is not given up. Primary meaning is not given up. Okay, Chief. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you.